What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and hope you're having a great start of this weekend, of course. Uh, and welcome to this new video on Bitcoin. Daily update. Um, actually, yesterday was a pretty bullish day, even though, um, for if you missed it, yesterday in the afternoon we got, uh, if I can still look it up, yesterday, uh, we got the un unemployment rate, which is way lower than expected, which actually was bearish. So we had that spike right here. Uh, it's bearish because it's uh, it's it's kind of an indication of that perhaps that the inflation is not cooling down. So that would mean interest rates need to go higher, which is bad for crypto. But in the end, we actually reacted positively to it, um, or at least like like we we reacted negatively. But then we got a a bucket of strong buy orders that actually pushed us uh, back up. So in the end, it was okay. Reach this resistance level around twenty nine thousand seven hundred, which was also um, uh, which I also said yesterday that we would do. But in this video, I kind of wanted to talk about this weekend and uh, and what to expect next week. So before we get into that, um, if you want to uh, receive daily trading signals by me and make some money this week, was another great week in the trading signal group. Check out the links down in the description or the pinned comments. Um, and also check out the link there for uh, to sign up with Bybit. It's the best exchange in my opinion. I'm also affiliated with them, so you can trade with low fees and also get a deposit bonus right now. All right, now to Bitcoin. So as most of you know, it's the weekend. Usually in the weekend, volume drops down a little. Volume actually has been uh, or has still been relatively high so far. Uh, and yesterday I also introduced the idea to you that we might have a bullish weekend. And I still think that possibility is there. Um, however, the, the chances of it are a little bit smaller than yesterday. Uh, and the main reason for that is the following. Uh, we found resistance at 20, 29,700. So first of all, that's a strong resistance level. All right, that's just, uh, in, in general, that's a strong resistance. Um, and then uh, the thing, we were still holding this kind of level in the middle around 29,250 <clears throat> um, until like last, uh, until this candle. This candle was pretty bearish. This this whole bearish momentum uh, happened in the last 12 minutes. Um, and we haven't technically broken below that since this is the only candle. But to me, it seems like there's some more bearish momentum. So what we would need to do in order for there to actually be a chance that we will rally this weekend and break above 29,700 and get up towards 30,500, our previous uh, resistance level and main price target right now. What we would need to do is with, with this candle uh, on the four hour time frame, we would need to get some sort of a close above 29,300 and we would need to test that level again. If we're testing the 29,800, 29,700 level again, um, then I do think that we have the possibility to perhaps not today, but then tomorrow break above that and start some sort of a, a rally where, as I said, first price target is 30,500, but we might also go, go above that. Um, so that's the main thing that would need to happen to be bullish. But right now it looks a little bit more likely that we'll see some stabilization. So that will drop down to this level right here around 29,000, get some sort of a bearish break uh, break retest off of 29,300, the level we would need to break above if we want to be bullish, uh, followed by a move down to this major support level around 28,800 and 28,700, upon which I think we'll just consolidate until we get some movement uh, at the end of Sunday. So, um, it's quite likely we'll get a boring weekend, but there definitely are chances that it will not be boring, uh, like I explained in a bullish scenario. I'll keep you updated on Bitcoin, but for now, enjoy your weekend a little bit, uh, take some time off from crypto, and bye.